And 7 News reporter Mark Boyle is in Boulder right now in the free speech zone on campus. And Mark, it's not the candidates, or not just the candidates, I should say, who are hoping to get their voices heard tomorrow. That's exactly right. Let me show you exactly where a lot of these activists will be set up. Uh, Coors Event Center is right here across the street, some of the national media. Then you can see a big field right across the street. That's where a lot of these student groups and regional and national groups will be set up, all trying to get their voices heard. You want to learn more? Thank you. Yeah, awesome. One by one, Connor Smith is trying to rally the students. He's handing out invitations for a debate event organized by the American Enterprise Institute. We've recognized a culture of apathy that exists among students, and students either care a lot about one issue and don't know about the others or aren't just aware or excited about politics. Their goal is to simply get more students involved in the political process. This, as student run groups like Fossil Fuels CU does everything they can to push their message. These candidates are not addressing issues around women's rights, immigration, racial justice, you know, the prison industrial complex. But the local student run groups aren't the only ones in full gear. Regional and national organizations are converging on Boulder also. Look no further than the Bush and Rubio puppets roaming campus for proof of that. I also think it's great for organizations like Progress Now Colorado because we can make sure to get our message across about how people need to know who they're voting for. Some just want to be listened to. Others, like Center for American Progress, actually want the candidates to address their issue during the debate. Seven out of the top 12 GOP candidates support the privatization of, or um, transfer to the states of public lands. And that's something that by a two to one margin, Colorado voters do not support. So this debate is uh, slated to focus on mostly economics. The, p the picketing and some of the protests, though, won't just take place here in this field. It's also starting to bleed into Boulder. We're starting to see it on the left street corners around the city. Live in Boulder, Mark Boyle, 7 News. Hey, the more the merrier out there. Thank you, Mark.